lines. Here is a little <laughs> of Nadler uh, on this week with George Stephanopoulos. We'll do everything we can to get whatever evidence. We will be uh, issuing document requests to over 60 different people and individuals uh, uh, from the White House uh, to the D Department of Justice, Donald Trump Jr., Alan Weisselberg, uh, to begin the investigations to present the case to, to American people about, uh, about obstruction of justice, uh, corruption, and uh, uh, abuse of power. Yeah. Besides that, there's really nothing for him to look into. <laughs> I mean, do you understand they're just making this up? And what's frustrating is you think they would have learned the lesson. Listen, I'm a Republican. I'm a conservative. But I think we can all agree the impeachment effort against Bill Clinton, viewed now through a more clear historical lens, failed. I mean, backfired. Clinton left with a 60 point, backfired badly. You would think the Democrats would have learned something from this. They have nothing. This is a, this is a big shell game. There's nothing there. And they just continue to double but, down. But you know what they're not doing? They're not talking about impeachment. They're just doing investigations. Yeah. They go, we're not going to do an impeachment unless there's some uh, buy-in from Republicans. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that didn't, that's, not where, yeah, that's not where it ended. You know, Dan, you got Adam Schiff out there, and he's talking about how there's evidence of collusion. A lot of evidence. Take a listen. Yeah. I want to get your reaction. There's abundant evidence of collusion. The issue from a criminal point of view is whether there is proof beyond a reasonable doubt of a criminal conspiracy. There's this ample evidence of collusion. Of collusion. Of collusion. Collusion. The core issue in Mueller's investigation, that core issue is collusion. <laughs> you can see it in plain sight. Yeah, what exactly is that evidence again, Dan? Did I miss it? Well, Steve just said it. You can see it in, in plain sight, but it's like the it from like the Stephen King movie. Nobody <laughs> knows what the it is. Like it's a clown one day. And it's, no one knows what the it actually is. He, you understand this guy is making this up. He's got nothing. He's a carnival barker. He has nothing. Now, here's why he's doing this, though. Now, there's a reason. The Michael Cohen hearing was devastating for them. He was their star witness, dreaded air quotes there. And what did he do? He went up to the hill and he said the key component of their entire case that Michael Cohen was in Prague to coordinate this whole conspiracy with the Russians. Right. Cohen yep. said it wasn't true. Keep in mind, he's their star witness, not Trump's, and he just decimated the entire collusion hoax. So what does Schiff do? Instead of being honest, he just has to double down and hope nobody holds him to account for his mm. two years of lies. Hey. And because he's a Democrat, he won't be held to account. I cannot believe we're at this place now. They are teeing, his, teeing us up for Mueller, the Mueller probe to be less than sensational. So they're already moving away from Mueller, which they've been pointing yes. to for two full years. Yep. So, uh, Brian, game your analysis on. is 100 percent spot on. The media is doing it. The Democrats are doing it. They know it's going to be a soft landing with Mueller and they're getting ready to move on to. Well, well we always knew that was going to happen. Right. It's his financial stuff with Trump that we really have to worry about. It's all they, nonsense. They're shifting to plan B. All right. Uh, Mr. Bongino. Thank you very much. Thanks, for Dan. Slide. We're all smarter having listened to Dan. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, 18 minutes before the top there. Jillian joins us right hey, now. Jillian. Good morning.